Windows Home Server 2011 has many different features through the Launchpad. We can backup, use remote web access, shared folders, dashboard, and add-ins. Let's add our first add-in for Windows Home Server 2011. Go to awiko.com and look for the Awiko Remote Launcher. This is a free download available as a release candidate as of February 4th. Click on the download link and save the file to your desktop. You can run this application from any client computer connected with a launch pad. Save it to the desktop. Close out your browser. Now the first thing we want to do as always as Die Hard taught us is to right mouse click, look at the properties and we want to unblock. Uh, again, sometimes the files are blocked depending on how your system is set up. So we want to unblock the installation package. Click on OK. Then we'll click on open or a double click and it'll walk us through the add-in installation process. Now the great thing about Windows Home Server 2011 is that you can install from the client and you don't have to log in to the console as we did in version one or remote desktop in. I uh, saw a little note there about the publisher not being verified. It's because the add-in is so new. Next thing we'll do is we'll enter in the password. Again, the server wants to make sure that you're uh, authorized to go through and add add-ins. Enter in your password. There's a software license agreement. I suggest you read it. And when you're done, click on accept. And we'll start the add-in installation process. Now the Awiko Remote Launcher uh, is made for Small Business Server 2011 Essentials and Windows Home Server 2011. Uh, it's a free add-in. Uh, it's really cool. It's one of my favorite new add-ins for Windows Home Server 2011. Uh, you can access the command line, the event viewer, services, uh, computer management, uh, task manager, which is one of my favorites, uh, and you can add in your own. You can see just as I was talking, it added it in, and we're good to go. Now this add-in you access through the dashboard. So I'm going to open up my dashboard. Uh, I'll enter my password and I will make sure that uh, if I need to, that I have my password remembered through this interface. Uh, I'm going to speed it up to eight times real fast, uh, get through it real quick. Okay, the dashboard opens up. You can see now that I have my first add-in for Windows Home Server 2011, the Awiko Remote Launcher. Now what this does is it basically puts these shortcuts within the dashboard itself so I can open these up. So I've got all sorts of crazy cool stuff in here. For example, the Explorer. I can double click on the Explorer. That brings up the Explorer within the Windows Home Server 2011. And on the left-hand side, I can click on Network. Now when I do this, notice here that all of the PCs on the network are coming up. I can actually right mouse click and remote desktop to my PCs, of course, uh, assuming that the connections are available, but this is wonderful. So within Home Server 2011, I can remote desktop through any of my other systems. I can also use Windows Task Manager. So if I want to do uh, resource checks, if I want to see what's uh, high on the CPU list or what's going on with the network, I can use the Task Manager for that. Again, these are just simple shortcuts uh, through the Awiko Remote Launcher, but it works really well. Now, also if I want, I can add my own application. So for example, I like using CoreTemp. It's a real low overhead uh, CPU uh, monitoring tool. So I will go and find where that is. Uh, I believe it's in my uh, 86 program files. So let me go find that. So program files 86, there we go, CoreTemp. CoreTemp, click on open. And now I have a CoreTemp application within the Uico remote launcher. I can click on run and this will show me what I need to, which basically gives me the model information and gives me my temps for my uh, Windows Home Server 2011. Uh, it's a great add-in. It's very simple, very straightforward. Again, low overhead. Again, how to add is you go to my applications and you click on add. Uh, uncheck the box here. Always ask before if you want to keep going over and over again, but it's pretty straightforward and it is a very simple, sweet add-in. Again, you can access command line, task manager, computer manager. This is another one of my favorites uh, to go in to look at disk management. You can see you're clicking on this. It gives me all of my volume ID. So if there's anything I want to check or work on, I can do it within here. Uh, you know, server manager, any of those great things. So thank you to Elvis for pointing this out to us. Uh, we look forward to the next Oiko add-in, hopefully coming soon. 
and check back with usingwindowshomeserver.com for all of your Windows Home Server needs.